Kona hapa. Public officer. Deputy public officer. Mandare is a priority. We are just on our normal routine inspection. We are taking food and drugs. We are on the chemist, institution, food prison. What do you check at the center? We normally check the storage instructions and expired dates. So you have come here, what have you found? We have found several drugs. Expired. We have issued a CISA to take them to court. I'm a registered pharmaceutical uh, registered pharmaceutical technologist. And I operate a business here in Madare. And uh, we are, we've passed through an experience of uh, people coming in the name of uh, drug inspectors and inspecting our enterprises without uh, uh, due process. So I found people inside my shop inspecting drugs. And actually, they were next to the cash box, so I don't know what they did with it. And uh, secondly to that, eh, uh, I called my uh, registering authority, the Pharmacy and Poison Board, and they said it's not the mandate of uh, the so-called public health officers to come into a chemist without the authority of the Pharmacy and Poison Board and inspect drugs. So uh, I actually am wondering what they're doing here at this particular time. Secondly, there's another guy in their midst who did not identify himself as, a, as an officer and he didn't carry the valid document to show that he's a uh, public health officer. We came to my place. My course of action is referring to them to my, my registering authority, that is the pharmacy and person board, and uh, we are going to pursue the right process to make sure that this is not repeated here because it is, uh, they have found that uh, in the slum dwellings, uh, a lot of quacks are practicing here. So they take advantage of that and uh, uh, get uh, money through the back door from them. So there is nothing substantial they can show that shows they are supposed to be they're actually not supposed to get into the door. They're supposed to, 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 to inspect the house from the outside. They see the painting and all about that. It's not to do with business inside a pharmacy because that's the mandate of the pharmacy and poison board. In addition, I understand you don't have your ID. What's your name? My name is You're also one of them. Yeah. I understand you don't have an ID. Yeah, I have not seen my ID. Oh. I'm in and wait. So is it true you are found inside the, the cash box? In the cash box. Yeah. As they as yet put it, not the cash box. No, you why, I was why you the, supposed to enter inside? Yeah. That's because my duty. Yeah. Whoever that officer is, without identifying himself, is not supposed to enter your premise without authority. And I found him inside my shelves uh, inspecting ph pharmacy products. How comes, how do I know whether this person is not the one who brought the drugs here? How do I know that this person is not the one uh, uh, colluding with other thugs, coming to my business and uh, disrupting the work of, of, of my business? So my officers are scared, scared. Those sales ladies who are working here for me, they are almost leaving the business because they are scared of these people coming in day in day out. So Last week we found some of them here. This week again we found them. So we are wondering what, what business is going on. Uh, whether the authorities that are supposed to take charge of this business are not uh, in control. So when you just bring our normal to inspecting any place. Did you, did you inform any police? No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Just inform the cop. The counter leader was there, we introduced by ourselves, and she allowed us to, to carry the inspection. I understand when you are public health officer carrying out in the, the, their duties, yeah. you have to inform the police officer. No. The, yeah. No. Is it true? No. What is the role of the pharmacy and poison board? If the public health officers are going to do the same work, then that's a, 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 a double duty for them.